Hey guys, what's up? Before I start, here's a pro tip. Never work in your backyard with your shirt off. Especially if you happen to have a lot of grass in your backyard and it's the middle of the summer like I did. Bad move. I got so many freaking mosquito bites all over me right now that it looks like I have chicken pox. It's that bad. So, yeah. Um, first things first, I, I just want to throw this out right there. Um, to those of you who um, had won in that contest I did when I reached a thousand subs, I have not forgotten about you guys, nor have I forgotten about your prizes. It's just that, um, all this crap is getting in the way to keep me from mailing it out. Um, let's just say that recent events have reminded me, exa you know, just how broke I really am. I mean, things have been pretty bad. And it seems every time I try to get the money together to, you know, mail this stuff out, something gets in the way to suck it up. I have not forgotten you guys. I really haven't. Um, I will be mailing those things out soon. Um, I have not forgotten you guys, so... In case you were wondering, or if you know, he promised this, with my prize, you know, it's, you know, I didn't forget, you know, it's still in my mind, I got, in fact, some people's drawings have already been done, I just, I gotta finish up with the recordings and I gotta mail those things out, um, but I have not forgotten, alright, I have not, I know it may seem like I might have, but I haven't, so, just wanted to get that out there, so, you'll get it soon, anyway, enough of that, um, the main reason why I um, did this recording was actually to mention that. But the other reason um, I'm recording this is because of an article that I had um, stumbled upon. By the way, if you guys are wondering why I am um, doing this video this way instead of um, still using the camera, it's simply because it is ridiculously hot in here, so I have my shirt off, and um, I'm pretty sure that's something you guys don't want to see, and besides... I'm not edible napalm. I'm not, I don't have the guts to show me, you know, sit here with my shirt off. So, but yeah, let me get on with this. Um, there's an article that somebody had sent off to me. It was on BeliefNet. So right away, you know, that got my, you know, alarm bells going off. You know, the Star Trek. But I decided to check it out anyway. And um, yeah, it pretty much did piss me off. The article is written by a guy named Michael Gullion. And it's called, can a, smart can a Smart Person Believe in God? In the subtext on there, contrary to the slanders voiced by arrogant atheists, we who believe in God are in very distinguished company indeed. Well, let's start with this right off the bat. Um, this particular article, of course, is arguing that there are plenty of smart people who believe in God, and in fact, it's the atheists who um, are missing something. But as you read this article, if you guys, you know, decide to read it, you'll realize that there's so many bits of misconceptions, sleight of hands, and outright lies that I just feel like strangling this guy. So, we'll get on with it. The first thing that pisses me off is he, this idiot makes the usual argument about atheists replacing God with something else, which just isn't true. Like over here, where they say that, um, I'm going to try to read a couple of quotes in the article here. Oh yeah, we also not forget the rebel atheist persons who reject God as part of an overall aversion to authority. Their God is individualism. Fuck you, Gullion. God is not, the individualism is not a God to an atheist. Have you forgotten the, what the definition means? Go look it up in a dictionary. An atheist is someone who does not believe in a deity, period. They do not look for something else to replace God with. So saying that individualism is their god or randomness is their god, as you said in another part of your article, is a bullshit argument. They don't believe in a deity, they don't believe in worshipping anything, and they certainly don't put anything above them to, as something higher than themselves in a sense of, oh, this is my god, this is what I devoted my life to. Fuck you. I'm tired of that argument. Don't try to make yourself look like an intellectual with those words of yours, and yet you make the same bullshit, ridiculous, stupid arguments over and over again. To go a little bit further with that argument about his thing of atheists finding something, uh, another deity to believe in besides God, he goes on to state that, well, atheists must believe in something other than that, or he must confess he believes in nothing as if believing in nothing is somehow impossible or somehow shows an immoral person. Fuck you once again, Gullion. There are plenty of atheists who believe in nothing, i.e. nihilism, and they're able to live complete lives. Okay? Nothing that insulted my intelligence. Let's go back to um, the thing about when he's trying to say that 
I'm going to read this quote. In my experience, atheists tend to believe in the cosmic existence of highly fortuitous accidents created by randomness, which I write with a capital R because for all intents and purposes, randomness is the atheist gods. Once again, Gullian, fuck you. Atheists do not worship randomness. They don't say prayers to it. They don't make sacrifices to it, nor do they all gather in a particular day in the week to talk about how great it is, you know, and sing of its praises and believe it's going to be meting out good and bad punishments and that there's an afterlife that it doles out. It's not a God, it is a principle, a mathematic principle. You dumb fuck. See, the sad thing is, I'm one of those people who believes that people who believe in God can be intelligent. But this article is not helping that stance because so far, reading through it, there's so many ridiculous statements you make that I have to just like seeing religious people are stupid. They're not, and I'm going, I'm saying it right now, just in case somebody's trying to say that I'm saying religious people are dumb. No, many of them are quite intelligent. In fact, he happens to cite one who's intelligent, a man named Edward O. Wilson, who he regards as a Christian atheist because this is a guy who doesn't believe in a personal God, but believes in its ethics. I mean, yeah, there are plenty of people who have religious tendencies who are quite intelligent. And there are many other smart people who believe in a god. But they aren't as stupid as you. They definitely wouldn't go so far as to say that atheists believe in randomness as if it's some kind of deity. Man, you're such a fuck up. Another thing that pisses me off about this guy is how he's one of those people who constantly tries to lump Albert Einstein as someone who believed in God. I don't know how many people out there have shown that Einstein never believed in a God, but yet here he is, quoting from that book from Max Jammer, Einstein and Religion, where he goes, I'm not an atheist and I don't consider myself a pantheist. Yet, he also stated over and over again that he did not believe in a personal God, nor did he believe in a religion. And whenever he used the term God, it was more, to, it was a synonym for the mysteries of life and science that human beings don't know yet. And in fact, many scientists tend to use that term. They tend to use um, more mysterious terms to come up with a synonym for those aspects of science that we just don't know about. Some people argue that, that it shouldn't be um, deities shouldn't be used in that way, and Dawkins had argued that using the word God in that way is misusing the term, but that's an argument for another time. Using that to try to argue that Einstein believed in God is not only misdirection, and you know wishful thinking but quite frankly with the mountains of evidence and even his letters where he point blank made it clear that he didn't believe in a religion it's an outright fucking lie another thing that gets to me is how he keeps using the term sq or spiritual quotient and showing that oh atheists are lacking in this as if it's to show that they're not nearly as smart as they think they were um Golian, have you bothered to really take a look at what SQ is? I mean, yeah, I know you know it's spiritual quotient, but a spiritual quotient has nothing to do with intelligence. It has to do with personality and emotional level. It has shit to do with intelligence. Trying to use that, going all the time all over his article, the high IQ, high SQ people, is that they're somehow superior to someone who has a lot of high IQ, but very little high SQ. SQ has nothing to do with smarts. So whether they happen to have a lot of spirituality in them or not, it doesn't really have shit to do with it. And quite frankly, I am willing to argue that somebody with high SQ doesn't necessarily need to believe in a god. They just happen to believe in somewhat spiritual matters that doesn't necessarily encode to a deity. We can show there are a lot of scientists out there who have a lot of awe with the universe that they're working with while well, trying to figure out anyway. Which you did point out and are trying to say, see, see, even the atheist has to admit that there's something out there that makes them feel awe. They're feeling awe by just plain old nature and just the awe of the universe itself. They're not making that leap of faith that you guys do and say, that, oh, it must mean that a god made it. Nice try. Nice sleight of hand. Doesn't fucking work with an intelligent mind. Last thing I want to go into because I'm running out of time is probably the biggest thing that insulted my intelligence. When he says toward the end of his article that Christianity helped to start the Renaissance. I kid you not. This fool argues that it was Christianity that started the Renaissance in Europe. That because they were the ones who set up all the universities, they were the ones who started it. This guy clearly hasn't looked at a history book. The Renaissance was started in spite of Christianity, and in many ways it was done against Christianity. Because mo many of the ideas that helped to spark the Renaissance, particularly the scientific revolution, 
were done by people chafing at the explanations that religion, particularly Christianity, had given them for how the universe works. I mean, seriously, what the fuck? How, I mean, that's just a bold lie to go out and try to argue that Christian Christianity was responsible for the Renaissance. No, it wasn't. It was people rebelling against it that started it. I, I can go on and on, but I think I proved my point. This article is complete garbage. Golian is full of bullshit. You guys want to read it? I'll have the link on the side.